Hey everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. So, not sure when this video will, will be, will be out to view, but Pesach starts tonight, Passover. And a staple growing up in my mother's home for Pesach was a dish called Simis. A Jewish stew, I suppose. For better term so I have I could have done this in the instant pot so I couldn't do it in the crock pot like I always do mom did it in the oven and I've done it in the oven so I have a beautiful chuck roast here I'm gonna put that on the bottom I have sweet potatoes which I have some that I have already cubed have an onion that I'm going to cut up I think I'm just going to make you can do cubes you can you can cut this however you want to I'm just gonna make thick slices and then I'll cut it up into pieces from there I also have carrots And yes, they are small, but I'm going to cut them in half anyway. Okay, I'm going to add, these are probably stale, these are prunes, or you can use pitted dates. If I can get them out. I know some of you are probably going, ooh, prunes in a stew. It makes it sweet. So it really does work out good. And these will soften up. It's just like raisins. These will soften up as they cook with the moisture. So I'm going to add two cups of orange juice. Add, I have a cup of brown sugar, but I don't think I need that much because of the sugar in the in the orange juice anyway. I mean, I'll taste it as it goes, and then I have I will add a quarter of a cup. Of honey this is local honey raw honey that's all I use is raw honey now if anybody has bees and they make honey I'd be happy to try it and do a review. I use honey a lot when I cook. And then a cup, since I don't have, I'm all out of bone broth and chicken broth, a cup of chicken broth or vegetable broth. My vegetable broth is all gone. These little measuring cups are just great because 
you just have to look at it this way and you can see what your measurements are. That's all there is. <coughs> then you can lick the honey. Put the lid on. I'm going to put it on high. And I'm going to cook it for six hours on high. We'll be back when this is done. And I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll even have some of this wonderful matzo that I get to eat for eight days. So we'll be back. Okay. I had this open earlier and I cut the meat. And it's just been sim sitting here simmering. So I'm going to cut me a piece of the roast and it just falls apart. Yeah, that's a knife it's and a half, isn't it? And then I'm going to get me some carrots and sweet potatoes. There's some prunes in there, a few onions. It smells wonderful. I'll just stick that in there. It's all very soft. I guess I'll take my hatchet here, cut my meat up, and that just falls apart. So I have my dinner ready. I have my matzah. With tonight, with it being Friday, it's Shabbos, it's also a holiday. I always light one candle so they don't move, so it sort of sticks to the bottom there. Baruch HaTad Anoi Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddishanu Vemitz Vesav Vetivanu Halak Ner Shal Shabbos Shal Yom Tov Because it's Shabbos and a holiday. So those are my Shabbos candles. This is a memorial candle that I light every Jewish holiday. I light this for my parents, for my grandparents, for my aunts and uncles, for Daryl's parents, for my grandson, and um, my brother and for my nephew that we just lost in September. This will burn for 24 hours. Okay, let's try. I love sweet potatoes, but sweet potatoes when they're cooked with prunes, it takes on a whole different sweetness. And yes, when you eat this, you don't have to worry about having issues in the bathroom. Just to let you know. Carrots, carrots are still a little crunchy, which I'm surprised. But but they're soft, they're not hard. Very good. 
I'm going to enjoy that. And there's enough here. We'll be having the leftovers all weekend. And I'll freeze the rest. So those of you that are celebrating Pesach, Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, for my children, I wish you were here. Hope you all have a wonderful evening, and uh, may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.